Hi guys, my name is Esther Muthoni and today I will we will just be learning on how to register businesses online. So we shall be doing business name registration uh, by our e-citizen portal. So you will go to e-citizen account and then you log in with your details, you sign in here. Uh, then you are going to type your email address then you input your password um, yes and then you'll come to this uh, this icon here business registration service then you click get service you put your email address and then your password So you will come here and click on business name registration you say apply now and then it will give you these details um, these details will yeah, for instance the business name is the simplest business form under which one can operate a business uh, it is not a legal entity that means that um, it is not separate from the owner so this is not like a, like a company so it, it simply refers to a person who owns the business and is personally responsible for its debts. So if you register a business name, you are personally liable for any debts that your business will accrue to third parties. Uh, before you register a business name uh, through the system, um, these are the things that uh, the system wants you to know. And it is explaining that a business name is a name or a title under which a person or an entity conducts a business. So in short, a business name registration will just um, will just give you that uh, that status that you are the, the owner of that of that business and maybe you are operating through a certain particular name. So it is better to register your business because now people will know you by that particular name. And then now we proceed to apply and click on application and then here just many stages like preferred names um, um, in the past we used to do um, a name search and then name reservation but now the, the whole steps all the steps have been put together so you can just uh, give the names that you prefer for your business in the order of the priority and then at least three but you can even do five and then the nature of your business and the registered office addresses uh, ownership information and then you do application documents so it's just a very simple process it is five stages so now we let's say that you're starting a, a tour and travel uh, company so you're going to input your name uh, your name here for instance you can use amplifier adventures and then that is that will be your first preferred name so you make sure that you put your first preferred name at the top because then that is the name that will be given to your to your business and then um, special instruction uh, is whether is it possible that this business or this name is related to another affiliated uh, or an existing business if yes it is affiliated then you will have to provide uh, a notice of no objection from the other business yes but in our case we see none then we proceed uh, preferred name two in our case yeah we can use uh, the upwards adventures remember the first one was amplifier adventures upwards adventures the same you have to show that upwards adventures has no connection with any other business or if it does then you can click here and say it's affiliated if it's affiliated then you will be required to provide details of that other affiliated business and then a letter no objection letter from the affiliated business so but in our case uh, we will say that um, we don't have any special instructions so we put none and then we proceed um, and then 
when you input your preferred name, the third name, you have to provide at least three names. So we can call our business Apple Adventures. So this is how they appear in the order of priority. We have the adventure, we have upward adventures, and we have Apple Adventures. And even in this case, we see that we are not affiliated to any business. So yeah, put none there. And then uh, for name four, you don't have to fill. You can say. And then we save and continue to the other stage. Yeah, so now we go to the nature of business. Um, of course, I'm, I'm using my name to register so that's why you see my name appearing here. Uh, so capacity, uh, applicant details. Maybe you're the owner of the business. In this case, I'm the owner. So you click here and then you can even be a lawyer. address here uh, yeah you, we can do 200 then postal address uh, I am located at city square yes and then we proceed nature of business uh, we can do conservation and wildlife yeah and when you do that then it will bring you these details depending on the nature of your business no objection letter from member of KWS. So you can attach a no objection letter if you are opening any business that requires you to attach a no objection letter maybe from uh, an entity that is recognized to issue such letters. So you can uh, just get a file. address of the business where is the business located uh, in this case uh, the business is in Nairobi uh, it can be anywhere anywhere you want it to be so yeah so and then it's in there you can see you can choose any of this so, but in this case we will use Westland and then uh, the locality is provided for here we will put this land and then name of the building uh, in this case we can say that our building is maybe Westland Towers a uh, street um, maybe we can even say Westland Westland Street uh, floor say first second whatever you prefer and then uh, room maybe the suit where you are your business is located you can just put what they have given us here suit too and then postal address yeah so you can use any number you prefer it can be to wait uh, and then you can postal address um, we put and put city square. And we can scroll down. Gong Road, Kayole. And then we can put Westland. Yeah, and then we proceed. Uh, mobile number. You, any number you have for your business, you can put there. 
then company uh, email address uh, our first uh, preferred name was amplified so we can use amplified at gmail.com and then yes so if there are other addresses that you'd like to add for your business you can add them here add other addresses but in our case we are good uh, with that so we proceed details this is like the last last uh we are almost the last page so yeah i don't want to put my details here uh, but like you can see you just come here and fill uh, id type designation here you see you're the proprietor and then id type kenyan citizen and then you come here add your id number once you add your id number it's going to verify everything including your date of birth so you add it here and your first name and all these details will be populated and then you can add your kre pin um, your name here in full um, and gender whether male or female then if you have a former name you can put here this is where you write if you have a former name maybe people know you by that name you can put here and then your phone number and email address as well as uh, postal address and the postal code yeah so yes and then you attach a, a passport so you choose a file name uh, you attach a passport size photograph yes and then you also select where do you live as the proprietor which county if it's Homabe, Kisumu the district here you choose the district the locality it's like a sub county and then the place of residence and then you submit and then the final stage now it will be uh, you will be able to download your your application documents and then now you pay it's around i guess less than 1000 to pay for this application yes and you're going to be done and then you submit it and you wait for some few days uh, and then you will be told if you have been successful or not and then you will get um a business name a registration certificate showing your registered business and your details as the proprietor the place of the business and all such details and yes that is the process of registration of business name it will take you less than 10 minutes if you have all the details yes and then you will just pay by mpesa like i said it's just around guess 850 so yes so thank you guys for watching this video yeah let me know how you if you have been able to register your business through this e-citizen portal